Today, a U.S. District Court judge will hear the first arguments for a lawsuit filed by several groups to stop House Bill 2. The preliminary injunction asks the court to stop the enforcement of the bill that forces transgender people to use the bathroom of their biological sex. CBS North Carolina's Emma Wright's live in studio to explain what this all means for the future of House Bill 2. Emma? This lawsuit was filed by several civil rights groups, including the ACLU and the U.S. Justice Department, who have been outspoken about overturning House Bill 2. And while a lawsuit is pending in federal court, the ACLU is asking a judge to stop the state from enforcing the bathroom part of HB2. Under the law, members of the transgender community can't use the bathroom of the gender that matches their identity. Instead, they must use the bathroom of the gender listed on their birth certificate. Supporters of the bill believe blocking the enforcement part of House Bill 2 will make the law confusing. U.S. District Court Judge Thomas Schroeder will hear the arguments this morning. Governor Pat McCrory and state Republican leaders will be defending the bill, but Attorney General Roy Cooper, who has said many times that he disagrees with House Bill 2, has said, has, has said his office won't be defending the governor or the state. We're losing jobs. We're losing millions of dollars. This does not need to be the issue that defines North Carolina. The last three months of the economy, our unemployment rate's gone down even more, and the number of jobs is created even more. I, I think you've got to look at the big picture. The judge will hear those arguments starting this morning at 10 o'clock at the U.S. District Court that is in Winston-Salem.